What's going on guys, Kamikaze Kid here, and we're playing Nox Tomorrow. I think that's what it's called, could be wrong, sounds German. But the point is we're playing it, and it's this cool indie game I found. It looks scary. Oh, let's see if it plays, you just click this right. I don't know what to tell you about this one, because I don't know much about it. It's a bit jittery, alright. Bit jittery. That's not, that's not a bad thing. I'm just trying to get used to this, these controls. Okay, so we're playing as a guy with no feet, my favourite. And um, we're stuck in a room. Oh, there's a door. Alright, so this, I don't know what to say about this game. It's literally like, oh, it's open. Okay, oh, and the door flings out at you. Okay. Um, oh, you have to hold it and then go through it. Okay, there we go. So we seem to be in what appears to be an underground facility or something. Because I can't see where I am. This is clearly some sort of a, like a, a building type of, you know, underground with the pipes and all. You know, pipes travel underground. Blood. Some hand basin. Am I going to be eaten alive by some zombies? Is, is this what this is? Like a, like a nocturne totem type of thing? There's no way out. Like, literally, I've just been... This is not the same room I was in. Ooh! Eh, uh, fuck. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Is, is it just me or... I'm just going to be going around in circles this whole game. Ooh. Its head rotates. And it can run as well. It can, it can shift run. I've just gone around in circles. There's no. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So evidence suggests otherwise that I can go anywhere else. Can I move this? Can this be moved? Like, I, I'm not sure what to say about this game at the moment. <laughs> I, literally, I thought it was going to be one of these like mad, fucked up, scary games. The silence, the fact that there's no music. Is making it a bit worse, you know. Is it uh, keeps rotating his head? I'm literally going around here. I I feel insanity. Like I feel like I'm going insane. Like I'm just literally going around the fucking circles. Ooh, uh, there's no <clears throat> list of ooh. He's following me. Is this like okay now? There's a bit of space. Okay, now that's freaky. That is actually cool. Whenever I game mechanic, I made this. I can't fucking see. Like, what the fuck? Who's on a run? There's pipes on the walls. There's a big dark fucking corridor. I can't see where I'm going. <clears throat> now another door. Again? There's a lot of sound again. Like, ooh! <clears throat> Geek! Uh, uh. Uh, geek. Just gonna run by them all. If they come to life, I am fucked. Yeah. You can escape? It says I can escape. I don't think you're gonna escape this. This is too fucking freaky. Got all these zombies? Get out of the way. I think the most annoying part is that they're just centered that way that I can't move. Ooh. What is going on? I keep getting teleported, like. But 
I can escape, but to him collecting I'm collecting the meaning of this game through text, through letters. Like <clears throat> I'm gonna fight a boss. I'm gonna fight a big fucking dirty boss. Like the corridors are really long and annoying. Look at this! Teleporting doors. Now I can't even comprehend this fucking game anymore. It's literally just turning into something else. I'm gonna. It's gonna get all like I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, or I'm already dead, and it's like. Oh. Oh! Me. That was absolutely rotten. You can escape, but you'll come back anyway. This is a new area. This is literally just the most confusing game I've ever played in my life. The functionality in this game makes no sense to me at all. What is he even like? You can escape, but you'll never come back because you have no other choice. In other words, I should go through this door. I'm just gonna go through this door. Ooh! Locked. Locked. Um, probably locked as well. No, oh, you can open this. I don't even know where I'm going. I, I can literally not even see. I can't see fucking anything. This is a maze. I'm going to have to go buy all these bookshelves. As I literally can't see anything. I can't go. Like, uh, shift is, is what I think is room, but at the same time, I'm still not even sure. Spacebar, E, the, the only real control to have. I wish I had a torch. Alright. E. I have a key. There was a locked door back there, wasn't there? It says toilet key. This game's mental. That. When do I get to the end? Like, is the toilet key? Don't know. I am part of you. Fuck off, door. I'm trying to open the note. I am part of you. Um. Oh. Oh, the controls are actually getting a bit wonky. I think I broke the game. E to open. Nothing in here but a pisser. <laughs> I, I can't comprehend. Is there notes in the toilet or something? Another key. To open somewhere else, probably. Oh boy. Fucking doors on doors galore. And I can't see anything. There's a door down here. These guys are outside, but I can't see. Let's just now say, this is my world. All right, that's fair enough. It's your world. But how do I, how do I how do I end it? What am I trying to finish here? Out. 
I just assume I go straight now. I honestly lost all understanding of this game since I started it. I think it's the fact that everything is so dark and miserable. I just there's a guy outside the door there. Look, I hard to see, hard to comprehend this game. To be honest. Get out. I literally can't even see in this game. Like this way, we can go. The way, the way my character moves is very uh, stiff. It's like um, jittery. He doesn't move like normal characters do. So it only kind of. doesn't help me understand this game nor does the fact that I, I literally can't see where I'm going I, I can't see shit like like we've been in this book room before and I just I, I can't make heads or tails out of this I think I think I broke the game. To be honest, I think I've done something. I like glitched or something. So I can't I can't find an ending to this. This is meant to be a quick game. It's going on for an hour or something. I can't see shit. Someone thrown that book at me earlier. There are other doors. Been go Everything's so blank, I can't see. Shit. Okay, don't go down dark corridors anymore. Till games end themselves. Right, maybe I do go in here. Maybe I go back in this room. Oh, maybe that light is shining at a door. Just at a corner of the screen. Oh, I'm so confused. If the if. If they develop the game with something a bit brighter, maybe a flashlight, something I can use to see where I'm going. Oh shit, did I just pick up that flashlight? See, now I can see what's happening. Now we can beat the game, because I have a flashlight. I, I, I think I have a flashlight. Not going back in there, look, it's the bookshop. Oh! Right, um. That, I don't know what. I keep getting hit by zombies. I keep, getting, I keep running through these fucking invisible uh, men with a. Uh, invisible men, sorry. Weird looking lads with, with teeth and I'm going down some corridor. Ooh. The right way to go is right. Or in here. Ooh. How do I get that fucking fine ass light? You'd, you'd think that um, a light that strong would have a fucking something like a note there we go notes and every night ooh okay you don't want me going that way
Is what? I just want to know what the note says. Ooh. Shadowy lads from. Run! And every night is something, guys. Oh, we score right. Every night is something. Every night is magical? Dragon? No. Doubt yeah, it's magical. Every night's shite. Um come on. Can you find notes here? Some of us got jabs to go to. Come on. Come on. Come on, there are we corridors. And every night is you're trapped in it. Okay, yeah, yeah it's one of them fact up meaning games with the bleeding. Paper and the and the hygen and the the itchy eyebrow. And every night I'm trapped in here. I'm trapped in these shadowy. Like from the moment I click play, do you reckon this is like? It's one of them. You know, you should even click in the game games. It's meant for Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad to see you here again. You can escape, but you'll come back anyway. You have no other choice. You can't get away from me, this is my world you, you live in, and every night you're trapped in it. Ah, so, if you jumble the sentences together, it makes the letter, and that's it. So, um, what to say, Nightmare Disorder, also known as Dream Anxiety Disorder, is a sleep disorder characterized by frequent nightmares. A person experiencing nightmares disorder would have trouble going through every ta everyday tasks. The anxiety and lack of sleep caused by the fearful dreams would hinder the individual from completing everyday jobs efficiently and correctly. Which is exactly what happens to most of us when we play these games continuously for hours on end every day. Because we're not associated with the real world and anxiety can develop. So it's kind of like a message out there to people that to, an understanding if you will that you never know who you run into in life. They could have problems and it's like to be able to understand people and remember like it's the likes of this um Makes people games like this make people think differently on people who go through troubles in life, and it's like if you do know anyone that goes through troubles in life, it's just being able to help them, and it makes sense to be there for someone, be a friend, and if especially if you're going through it yourself, just be an understanding individual. And I think deep down, that's what this game is trying to get at, and it's just trying to raise awareness of it. So I give this game a thumbs up for that effort. But thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like, subscribe, join the tribe. And as always, I'll see you guys at the next one.